Hi everybody, it's PJ, and today I'm in a hotel room up in North Jersey again because I'm hiring a bunch of people today. And I just washed my face and now I am putting on my Paracom MD Amine facelift. I don't know. And then I'm going to use my neck firmer. But I also have my little, let's see, those are little tapes. They keep my face off my chest. But I figured since the lighting is so much better here than in my house, I was going to do a makeup tutorial. But I'm limited in my makeup, so we'll have to see. Firm, firm. Um, this is the Come Correct. It's the Fergie line of Wet n Wild. And as you remember, we're gonna take away the ruddy. I'm so excited because two days from now, I'm seeing John Edwards, yay! I wanna see if he sees Jeff. Wanna well, be cool? He like looks at me and goes, you had a boyfriend that you still go see. <laughs> you, you've been trying to get to your dead boyfriend. Yeah, that's me. I don't care. I'm going to do it until the day I do. I want, I want all the people that I lost to come back to me. I don't, I don't want to lose them. I don't think we have to. I think that there's somewhere we can go. Look at that. <laughs> I think there's somewhere we can go that... that uh, we can meet up, but the places so far that I have gone to meet up have really taken a toll on them, not me. But I think it's because they understand where they are and what they're doing and I don't. And so they come as far as they can. If you read a lot of the stuff from Bob Monroe, Robert, Robert, is it Robert Monroe? The Monroe Institute guy. Um, like he explained it pretty well like there's this place you go to kind of hang out and it's a garden and i'll tell you i died on um a table twice once uh, a long time ago had an operation done and all right let's go all right so i got very sick and uh there was nothing i could do i was just um uh, pretty much dying my hair was falling out and uh 13 days after operation, I was like dying. And finally, I showed up at the guy's office without an appointment and passed out. And he said, go up and check yourself into this. I'll be up after my patients. I probably wouldn't have lasted that long. I had 104 fever. I was like falling out all over the place. Anyway, I don't care about that. Here's what happened. They took me to x-ray and in x-ray, Oh, Milani, uh, this one is warm toffee. Warm toffee. And we're gonna cut in. You know this, I'm just talking. So anyway, um, they took me to x-ray and I didn't make it. Like I was passing out and like dying, basically. They couldn't keep my head up to put me in a wheelchair. So they grabbed me, ass hanging out of the wheelchair, by the way, and ran me right into the OR. And my this infectious disease guy comes in and he's like, where's your surgeon? I'm, I don't know. I couldn't even talk. And he like went out and got my surgeon and made him. He's pissed at him. His name was Dr. Bacon. He saved my life. Anyway, so all that being said, I lay on the table and I had this big, my belly was so ex distended from, I guess, infection or whatnot. But um, when they would lay me flat back, all that would lay on my heart and my heart would stop. So I didn't know that. They didn't know that. So they laid me on the, on the table and I dropped dead and my heart stops. They are running around, I guess, uh, once they realized that I wasn't okay. But here's what happened to me. I was 
in the woods. I mean, I like came to myself and I'm standing in the woods and it's green everywhere. And it's cool because I was so hot and the leaves are like doing this and I can see the like, I can't see the sun, but I can see like the sunlight coming through all the, the tree leaves. And I don't know where I am. I am like in the middle of the woods somewhere. And the only thought I had was, my father had just passed like a little while before that. The only thought I had was, oh, you have to go meet daddy. So there's a path in front of me, a literal path. It's small, but like this narrow path. And I said to myself, okay, get to the water. So I start walking and it was like going downhill in the woods. I start walking downhill in the woods. Sorry, I'm doing my, I'm doing my sun kissed look by the way. I start walking downhill in the woods and um, the only thought I have is you have to go find, you know, you gotta go meet daddy, hurry up, you're gonna be late. Um, when I, I touch myself somewhere and my hair was long again, like when I was maybe 18, 19, probably my prettiest, you know what I mean? And I was like, oh my God. And I like pulled my hair up like, wow. And then, I mean, I always had kind of long hair, but it was long, long hair. Like it used to be able to, I used to have to pull it up to go pee. So it was long like that again. And I looked down and I was in, I was in my gauze shirt from the 60s and or 70s and I was in a pair of cutoff jeans that were long gone and I was like oh these are like my favorite clothes <laughs> and then I kept walking down and I was like going like this because I was like oh it's so nice and cool here because I was so hot and um I get to the uh to this little like kind of pond in the middle of the woods. I mean, it's just like a pond. And there's a big rock there and I sit on the rock and I'm like, okay, I gotta wait for daddy. And I just sit down. The minute I sit down, like somebody has a rubber band and it's the only way I can describe it, around my waist, I it's like, I went like, boo, like, and started going back up the path and then I'm in the OR and I'm like, What's going on? I'm, I'm awake again. And uh, I like look around, I'm like, oh my God, I wanted to go back because I didn't have a fever there. I, I wasn't sick. And I felt so much better, you know. And they're all going crazy around me. And then uh, they, they, were doing, they were doing something. And once again, my heart stopped again. And all of a sudden I'm back, it's like, and you're, I'm back on the path, only this time I'm really close to where I had stopped before, where the water was. So I, I took like three steps to hurry up and get to the water to get to daddy, and boom, the rubber band came back and I was like, boom, and I was back. And what they had done was they took a towel and wrapped it around and put it underneath my shoulder so that I wasn't laying flat. And uh, then I, a beautiful red-haired nurse came over to me and said, say night-night. And that was it. I woke up with drains hanging all out. I was in the hospital for like 20 days. It was like really amazing. But I went somewhere. And ever since then, and I did go, it was a place. It was in my mind. I went there more than once, which really sealed the deal for me. Because I, if I had only gone there once, I uh, don't know if I would have believed it as much. Anyway, okay. Um, I'm, 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 I'm real quick. Carl Cove, Milani. I told you this is the warm toffee, Milani. And I'm doing the sun kiss look. Looks like I was outside. Oh, we're going to do my eyeballs while I talk to you for the morning. I hope this isn't too long. My videos are so long. I don't know. What do I want to wear today? I am limited. And when I get limited, I'm weird because then I'm like, oh, I should have brought. It's like, what does it matter? Okay, start with beaches and cream. I am loving this light. 
Well, I know I'm going to put Shimmer Shimmer right here. So that's, again, Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer. Anyway, ever since then, I have been on the hunt. Open those eyes up. Yeah. I've been on the hunt for the other side. I don't know how else to put it. And then everybody who passed, I would chase them around. <laughs> I'd be like doing meditation and trying to get there and doing the Monroe Institute. Now the Monroe Institute does stuff like soul retrievals, which is amazing. Unfortunately, with my big life, I haven't been able to get there. Let's do eyebrows today. I have to look like no shit today because I have new people and they don't know me. And I'm the boss and I'm not a boss that I can... <sighs> These people I'm going to have to train and then let them go on their merry way. So we're going to use this color. Uh, on my Maracuja Miracle Palette. Um, again, one of those ones that just gives you a little plastic thing you lose because I'm not that good. So I have to look like a bitch because they have to fear me in some way. <laughs> and I'm not a very fearful. But I, I can be intimidating, I guess. I don't know. I don't consider myself very fearful. I'm not a physical, I've never physically fought somebody in my whole life. Not once. I did the pretty in pink video, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to look that like giddy so let's go with this color right here it's like a chocolatey brown but oh not cute okay we're gonna have to take some of this all uh, what i just found was my tart uh maracuja miracle again because i got all this together and this is the oh come on you have to work there it goes rose gold and we're gonna put this right on our eyelids I will be mad. I knew it. Oh, there it goes. I'm not having a good makeup morning, and I'm doing you guys. It's crazy. Okay, so rose gold, and we're going to just hit the eyelids with it. Let's do that. And this stuff is so pretty. Sorry about that. I took all that other stuff off because sometimes you just got to do that. Sometimes you can't. You're like, oh, no, that didn't work. And that's the cool thing about makeup is you can just keep playing with it. And we're going to run right underneath with it. But only from middle over. We're not going to do it all the way up. See what I mean? Just make it a little mokey. Not halfway. Not halfway. I mean, you can really just end it there, but I'm not. Because I don't. All right, now taking my little cheater brush. Okay, we're gonna go in with Showtime and it's really dark right there. My favorite Makeup Geek color from day one has been Bitten, but Showtime is like the foil Bitten, the foil shadow version of Bitten. It's like a chocolatey, maroony, goes really good with green eyes, like super good with green eyes. Um, going right in on the corner. We're just going to pack that in. Pack away. I love men in makeup. Like some of my favorite looks come from men. <laughs> but I love Manny and Patrick Star. Manny, I mean, and Patrick Star. But I just think they're beautiful in makeup. Like, why not? And this whole thing with Jenner. I mean, come on. She is way better looking as a chick. <laughs> if I was him, I wouldn't mind that either. I'd be like, yeah. And like drag queens, they're like some of my best people to watch. I mean, I just love them. I love that they don't care. Listen, they're just heroes. Even Gigi, hero, beautiful. And who cares? Okay, we're taking showtime and going right on top of where we just did the um the rose gold tart stick okay 
Um, but who cares? Like, who cares? Literally, who cares? Oh, what was that? Um, at some point, guys, like, all this crap about gender and sexuality and race and religion, like, it's got to go away. Like, who gives a shit what somebody else thinks? I play with voodoo and witchcraft. So what? I'm a good-ass person. The only people that you really have to worry about are the people that are intolerant of other people. The ones that think they're right. That's the scary ones. Like, you can just say, well, you might be right. <laughs> and if you're incapable of saying that, then you are the Taliban, you know? You are everybody they try to get you to be afraid of. Oh. And even if he wasn't beautiful, what if he turned out looking like, like not good? So what? Is he happy? Is he hanging off a rooftop trying to shoot somebody or is he happy now? Come on. Oh my God. People make me crazy when I hear these comments. The biggest thing is, I hope she's happy. I wanna be happy. I felt so bad for her that, oh, we're blending it up. I felt so bad that she'd gone all that time and denied herself like denied herself that is crazy that's such a shame i feel bad for all the time she lost out and i'm so glad that her family did like finally but we see her because they're the kardashians and those are the people we watch but the truth is what about all the ones we don't see holy crap all the people live in that, like, really in a bad way. Like, I hope they reach out for support to people that would love them and won't care. I don't care. Okay, now we're going to take that shimmer shimmer and put it back where we wiped it all. And I want you to take that all the way down. You know what? Ooh, look, I did my inside waterline. That's crazy with powder. Uh, shine it up but we're going on the inside corner and all the way over and like I said I only wanted it like right there let's blend the bottom I don't know how I ramble on to so many subjects <laughs> I'm just a strange person all right we're gonna do our voluminous Miss Million Lashes by Rimmel okay we ain't done yet though we ain't done yet because I forgot to highlight my eyebrows. All right, I'm going back in with the Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek. What do you think? Nice. That's enough today. I know, it wasn't the best makeup tutorial <laughs> because I messed it up the first time. Let's do some lips. What do we got, Bob? Well, we have three choices. I have orange which i don't think will go with this bronzy kind of goldy kind of look let's get my cool cat eyes on i gotta go do my hair do you think i'm studious enough looking ready for my class oh that's what i was saying so i don't like once you're trained you go into the stores i'm not with you so you can do anything you can really screw me up all right so this is called cherry picking who is this by oh it's a wet and wild lipstick cherry picking boy i think i might use this but we're gonna hold on fuchsia fuchsia but it's fuchsia and the orange so i think i'm gonna use the cherry because that kind of looked the best right? and it says something berry but it's not baby berry because that's a different color than this and i can't figure it out but let's do it Hardest thing I do in life is this damn lip lining. Here it goes. Ooh, I was right. Well, there she is. What do you think? Mm. Think they'll be scared of me? Or am I just scary because I'm like old and ugly? They gotta be like a little intimidated. That's what I wanted to look. It's like a femme fatale. 
dark lip, dark, you know, eyes, that kind of thing. Green eyes today. Don't mess with me. Stay in the store. Go to work. Think it'll work? All right, if you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, hit the button down below and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of video. If not, give it a thumbs down. Either way, you're watching. I love you guys. Go manifest something good in your life. If you know it, feel it, want it, heal it, all that good stuff. Just believe it and you'll get it, I swear. Also, I'm going to tape a lot of the, uh, the John Edwards stuff for you. It's so exciting. I Anyway, love you guys. Have a great Monday. Bye. I won't even, you won't get this live tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.